welcome to Wacky Wednesday. You'll notice that we are not even in the house today. We're not in the living room. We're not in the kitchen. We're not in the dining room. We're outside in my backyard. And we're in my backyard because today we're making a very special, actually this is going to be someone, someone's birthday gift, one of our viewers who is turning nine. Actually her birthday was yesterday, but um, I don't think she'll mind. So today what we're making, I'm going to call them Christina Cabanas. And we have just a couple of supplies, but it's pretty cool. And this is something you can use either inside or outside. Today we're going to actually be using this branch that's right behind me is going to where we're going to hang this from. So let's get started. The first thing you need is, um, now I'm using a shower curtain. You could also use a sheet if you want or a piece of fabric um, or even a really huge towel. But today I have this fun shower curtain. Now I picked this because our birthday girl is a big fan of zebra and hot pink. So she's getting a zebra and hot pink cabana. And then you also need a hula hoop. And our birthday girl happens to be a really good hula hooper too. So this is the perfect project for her. Um, and then for decorative purposes, we have some fun flowers. I just got these at the craft store. They were under a dollar for both of them. They're really cool. We're gonna use these to decorate at the end. And then you'll need a pair of scissors and you'll need some rope. Oh, and some safety pins. We're going to use safety pins, but you could also use shower curtain rods if you have those. Now, the shower curtain that I got came with some rods, but they're the kind that have little hooks instead of going all the way around and clipping, so they don't stay on here really great. So she can use these for some other project. There's lots of cool things you could do with these. But let's get started. So the first thing you do is take your hula hoop, and we're going to find the top of our shower curtain, which is right here. And this is just such a simple, fun project. Okay, so we're going to take our, the top of our shower curtain and we're going to take our hula hoop and we're going to just fold it over. And this is where our safety pins come into place. Now if you're using regular shower curtain, shower curtain rings, um, you would do this a little differently. You would take your shower curtain ring and poke it through this hole and just clamp the whole thing over your hula hoop and that would work fine. But we are going to actually do safety pins since we don't have shower curtain rings. So you just pin the two sides together. Be careful not to poke yourself. You might want your mom to help you with this. And get it stuck in there. And now we've got our edge done. So now we're going to just work our way around the rest of the shower curtain and do the same thing. And you don't need to put these very often because it's not the shower curtain is not heavy. Um, so you just need to put it on here long enough or um, far enough apart just to kind of keep it even. So we'll do our next one. Get it in there and then you can kind of see this is what it looks like on the outside when she's clipped it together or pinned it together. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up, finish pinning these. Our flowers are trying to blow away. It's kind of windy today at my house. So um, I'm going to finish these up and we'll be back in just a minute to do the next part. Okay, so I've got our curtain pinned all the way around our hula hoop. The next step is going to be if you want to add a top. Now if you're under a shade tree like I am, you might not need a top unless you want to keep leaves and stuff from falling on your head. Um, you could just leave it open and you could skip the step. But if your tree that you're going to hang it in happens to be out in the middle of your yard where it's really sunny, you probably are going to want some kind of cover because otherwise your head is going to get very hot when you're sitting in here reading or taking a nap or having a snack or whatever you're going to be doing. Um, so what I did is I just took, this is actually a plastic table cover that I got at the grocery store. And it also was under a dollar. So this is really a very inexpensive project and probably someone still already have laying around your house. So I chose the zebra stripe because again, our birthday girl loves zebra stripes. So what I've done is taken in the corners, I've torn just a little bit of the, uh, or I've made a little cut in the tablecloth and I've just tied a knot around our glue. So that's how it's staying on there. So I've done that on three corners. So I'll do it here in just a minute so that you can see. I'm gonna do it on our fourth corner. So you just take a little bit, you just kind of cut it just like that and then you just tie a knot around your hula hoop. And you're not going to have any weight on this so you don't need to have it super tight, it's not going to fall apart. So 
You could also use, if you're using a sheet, you could just use a pillowcase to put over the top. And I should mention too, this is a really big hula hoop. If you have a smaller hula hoop, then obviously your cabana is going to be a little bit smaller. So the next thing we do, actually I'll show you what it looks like to this point. Okay, so this, you're going to be inside here. So this is pretty cool. It's like your very own tent. It's so cool. So, okay, let's go ahead and finish it up and then we'll hang it in the tree. And I cannot wait. I'm going to go get a book. I'm going to go get a nice cold glass of water. I'm going to relax. It's going to be so great. Okay, so this next part you're probably going to need your mom or dad to help with because it probably will involve using a knife um, because this rope is pretty heavy. Now, if you have clothesline wire, that works too. But what we're going to do um, is go ahead and tie it, um, make our knot so that we can tie it into our tree. Now, the important thing here is that you need to take, whoops, our flowers are going crazy. Okay, you need to pick your hula hoop up and grab each end of your fabric and pull it so you know how tight it's going to be because you want to be sure that you don't have all of your ropes in the same spot. Otherwise, your cabana will be like this and it won't be that relaxing. So we're going to start, um, since this is the back of my cabana, that's where we're going to put our first knot. So you just take your uh, rope or clothesline wire, whatever you're using, and just hook it through and tie a knot. Tie a knot onto the hula hoop. You might want to do two just so it stays. Okay. That's really tight. Ugh. Okay, so there's our first one. So now we need to be sure that we're going to get our others centered. So, it's getting windy. My stuff's starting to blow. I think it's time to get in the cabana. Okay, so same thing on this side. Just take your rope, make a knot, and then we'll make a double knot. Really tight so that it stays. And then the last one on this side. Over here, make our knot. Now you could also um, attach this to, if you don't have a big tree in your backyard, you could also attach it maybe to the top of your swing set. That might work too. Okay, so now we have our three wires. So this part I'm actually going to have, oh, let's decorate it first and then we'll get, I'm going to have to have taste tester help me because I can't reach the tree. So this is the part your mom or dad are going to have to help you with, maybe your dad. Or some of you have really tall grandpas and uncles, you might have to ask them to help you too. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and use our flowers and decorate the front of our Christina Cabana. Now, if you use this tablecloth route, you've already got a little curtain, so you might not need um, to have any extra decor. But if you want to, you could use these flowers, which is just a lay that I just cut in half. And then the very important thing to remember about this, if you do that, is to tie a knot at the end. Otherwise, all of the flowers and stuff will come off, and you'll just be left with a plain string, which is not that attractive. So, if you want to decorate the front, you just take your lay, and what I would do, let's pretend you don't have this piece on here. What I would do is you just kind of start wrapping it around, just like this. And a nice thing to do would be if you have a pink hula hoop, you could get maybe white or purple flowers. And see how beautiful that is? That just adds a really nice touch to the front. So, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take these off since we do have this cool front part, our little curtain in the front. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, Go find Taste Tester. He's not really a taste testing day. He's just kind of the cameraman today, but he's doing an amazing job, I think. And I'm going to ask him to help me hang this up. While he's going to be doing that, I might go get a book and some water and get ready to relax. I'm so excited about this. Hey, and your family and friends. Can't wait to be. She's a magician in the kitchen. Can't wait to be. Watch them Mondays and Thursdays. Can't wait to be. Cooking yummy foods and tasty treats. Can't